the Blackburn Buccaneer S2 with uprated engines to let it uh, have a little bit more get up and go, as it were. Um, subsonic attack aircraft for the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy. This is the Royal Navy version. Um, it's a bomb truck, and it should be pretty useful for tank battles. So, uh, we've got stock 500 pounders times 24. That's a pretty good loadout. Where is it? There it is. Oh, you can actually bring 28 of them. I somehow missed that. I'm glad I checked that before we... Uh... All right, we'll bring 28 500 pounders. I thought it was only 24. Well, that's a nice little discovery in the modifications. I almost just took off and flew with uh, only 24 of them. All right, then. Even better. Let's see what uh, see how that changes things. Wait a minute. Hang on. Select the darn thing. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, uh, flares and chaff I'm going to research first so that I can, you know, survive long enough to use the bombs to grind out the rest of the weaponry. The uh, Matra Mark I pods will be the next thing to go for unless... Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll go for the 1,000-pounder uh, separate. I don't know. We'll see. We'll uh, We'll check after this. Um, so you start out with the 500 pounders, you can get flares and chaff first, you can get rocket pods, then you can get a thousand pounders, more rockets, aim nine B's, and then some AGM 12 B bullpups for your offensive options. And then the usual flight performance and survivability modifications over here. So there you go. Um, there is no offensive armament until you get aim nine B's or I suppose rockets you could use as unguided, but. There you go. There are 47 armament presets, which is just absolutely batshit insane. 47 choices of armament on this thing. That is just, that's beyond wackadoodle right there. Max speed, 715 miles an hour at sea level. Max altitude, 49,200 49, feet. I don't think I'm going to see either of those terribly often. Turn time is not great with all the bombs we have. Um, max repair cost is 9,940 right now, stock. So that's something. Max efficiency, 5 to 7, 428 on RP, 330 on Silver Lions with a premium account. I do not have any boosters turned on, nor do I intend to turn on any boosters for the grind for this thing. Uh, let's take a look at the customization options and see what kind of... Can we do have camouflages? Okay, so we've got the standard camo, and then we've got standard C camo. Neat. Then we've got Buccaneer S2 XW544 from the Royal Air Force. That is still downloading. Ooh, I like it. Not bad, not bad. And then we've got Buccaneer S2 XV160. Let's see what this one looks like. Still downloading. Wait for it. Oh, I like it. I like it. Very nice. Uh, that one is on the marketplace. It's apparently common, and this one's on the marketplace and is uncommon. So neat. Okay, there's a couple decent camouflage options. I mean, this one's all right. I don't mind this one. This should be reasonably well hidden. I mean, you're not really gonna go unspotted too often in this thing, anyways. And it's not the world's fastest airplane. And until you get flares and chaff, it really doesn't matter. Let's take a look at, uh, there is no armor protection, and we've got fuel tanks in the middle, we've got a couple engines up here in the front, we've got some wing spars, and uh, that's basically it. There's wing spars and control surfaces. There is a tail hook so you can land on an aircraft carrier, and you got two crew members. Um, I don't know if you can lose one of these guys and keep flying. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. And then there's a radar, and that's it. There's not really much else to talk about with the, uh, Buccaneer S2. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Air Realistic. So we'll just switch this over real quick. We're going to take it Air Realistic. We're going to drop all the bombs we can drop, see if we can bomb out some uh, bomb zones, and just we'll see basically how many bomb zones can we get to on what maps and how realistically many bomb zones you could expect to kill if you had a totally unmolested attack. Nobody comes after you and you're allowed to just bomb things away. We'll check that out. And then once we get at least one decent bomb run, we'll take it into ground, realistic, and we'll take our 9.3 line up here and drive the VFM-5 till we can get this thing into ground battles, and we'll do some bomb there. 
And then as we unlock mods, we'll do the same thing. Rinse, repeat. Air battles to test it out. And then ground battles to test it at the same state of modifications. And that should pretty much cover it. Let's get this baby into an air battle. Okay. Well, you start out on the airfield, which is unfortunate. But here we go. Although possibly not as unfortunate as uh, my random squad mate here, who's uh, going to grind some paint off his... Um, SU-7, that's hilarious. You should get up to speed and jam on your brakes, buddy. Oh well, good luck taking off. So let's see what kind of takeoff run we get here. And we'll try and figure out a way to get in and bomb some zones. We're going to have to take a long, long way around, I think, to survive here, but we'll see what we can do. So there's an internal bomb bay on this thing. And that's where the other four bombs are. do here. If there's any zones at all left over once we get airborne, it will be a miracle and a half. Yep, there's the other four bombs. That should be a flip open. Yep, neat. I like that. I like the F-111. Alright, well, good start. That's one down. Okay, we'll see you when we get to some activity. Well... Three out of the four bomb zones have been destroyed, and the one that's left is absolutely on the wrong side of the battlefield from me. So that's unfortunate. But we'll see what we can do here. Well, I guess we'll, uh... We'll see how many bombs it takes to do one-third of a zone. Unfortunately. I suspect if I do double drops, it'll probably do it. Let's see. Yep. Alright, well, 24 bombs left. Too bad we can't bomb a zone. Oh, it actually dropped. No, it didn't. Okay. I was going to say, I dropped those bombs first, but it did not. I mean, I could try to get to their airfield and bomb them on the airfield, but I'll never survive, so... Hmm. Take him down. There's a few of them left. Double bombs and all I got was a hit. Ooh. Ooh, I say. There we go. That worked. Kind of boring, but what the heck. bombs left. Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay, CL-13 is not coming towards me. We've still got a whole bunch of enemies up. I'd like to keep some bombs on board just for the sake of defensive flying, but can't resist this kind of a target. Nice! It's a little bit of score. It's not a whole lot. Now do I try and tempt this guy in to chase me, this F-86F over here? Or do I just drop my bombs and run for home? Got a few of them left. SU-7's on them. Tight. Yeah, 
There's the other CL-13. That's the guy in first place. Is he just shooting down AI? He's just shooting down AI, okay. Kinda wish I had the Sidewinders here. <laughs> Come on, boys, get him. How are you guys all missing him? Look at this. Look at this group of targets right here. Nice! There we go, they got him. The other one's... Oh, that's that's an issue. Got ten bombs left. I wonder if I can get him to chase me. I can try to chase him. I can try to chase this guy. God, do I wish I had sidewinders right now. Burr. Look out, man. This is the most ridiculous thing ever. Oh, nice shooting. Alright, how many are left? One guy left and he's the one over there chasing after the AI. So I'm just going to get my bombs dropped here. Get the rest of my bombs off on this convoy right here. And we'll just take what uh, research we can get and run. Works for me. I'm not sure I'm going to get anything right there. I think I dropped right as those tanks split from each other. Oh, never mind. Two of them. All right. Works for me. Six bomb drops left. We know that other guy is out there somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about him until he makes his presence known. I mean, he was probably over here, I think. Four bomb drops left. Hey, a new bomb zone. Uh, I wish I'd have noticed that when it popped up. Anyway. Let's see what four bombs will do to a bomb zone. Should do a third. I mean, that's what the last ones did. That's it. That's all our bombs away. Yep. Not quite a third. Alright, so he was probably over here. Ooh. Minute and a half of fuel. I think we'll head for home. Speaking of things I wasn't paying attention to. And here we go. Here we go. Nice, easy landing. <laughs> You'd think somebody named Aimbot wouldn't miss the runway, you know. Awesome! And that's gonna do it, folks. He is shot down, and we pulled Thunder on the first battle. Let's see what kind of research we get from this. It was a lot of AI, but. And we got a crate. Wow. That's a decent little bit of modification research. Not bad. Half of flares and chaff in one battle is all right. Okay. That works too. I managed to finish third. Not bad for a non-offensively armed vehicle. <laughs> so there we go. All right. That'll work. J7 was doing, but okay. We're winning. Come 
Come on, F-86. Get in behind me. Get in behind me now. Come on, sweetheart. Critical hit. Eat it. Eat it, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, we got some rockets. We got some flares. So as you can see there, 72 rockets and 70 flares and 34 chaffs. You can get up to 144 total chaff, flares, rockets in various combinations. So you can get more than 72 rockets, but uh, I wanted to bring a little bit of defensive stuff here because we're going to have to get a little closer to the um, bomb zones here because these rockets have a time fuse self-destruct on them. Not sure if that's something I can set, but either way, we're gonna have to get in close to the bomb zones, and I don't think they're gonna do much for the bomb zones either because they don't have anywhere near the explosive mass that the 28 bombs do. But I gotta at least show you that these are not a good thing to use. So perfect. Okay, good. Let's make our attack run. So as you can see, definitely not worth, definitely not worth it. And that'll be it. As I'm about to land, the last guy gets killed, so... Okay. Won't be a lot of research, but... That's it, anyway. Not really worth using the rockets in a ground battle. Or air battle, rather. Probably, maybe in a ground battle. Not really worth using it in an air battle, though. Yeah, not very much. Okay. We got them 1,000s. Let's take them into battle. 16 1,000s on board. Yeah, look at that. Yes, indeed. That's a lot of big boom. Goodbye. Excellent. Awesome. So this SU-7, I don't know what he's doing. Looks like single drop does one third so we'll do single drop here and then we'll come back around again and see what happens I had to drop yeah okay single drop is one third all right Sue seven I would have liked to have seen just a full zone but okay whatever I'm just happy to finally get bomb zones to drop at and not have seven vaulteurs going in anymore. Should do it. We'll do a double tap on this one. Well, we'll drop a single because there's no enemies nearby. By single, I mean single drop, not single bomb. If I could have dropped a single bomb, I would have. Okay, so... The rest of our... Enemy fighter. Of course there's an enemy fighter. Of course there is. Think we can beat him here? I keep I wonder if he's got bombs. One four two. Probably time to call for some help, though. Help would sure be swell here, team. Take him down. I don't think he's got a missile, though. The 
Come on, bombs, do it. Got him. I got him. I don't even care if the F-104 gets me now, which he's going to, but... Well, he didn't, actually. Good lord, let's get out of here. It sure would be nice if somebody wanted to come over here and help me, though. And now we got another one coming to join in. My god, team, if you could just get here, that would be so amazingly awesomely swell. Dear lord, you think there's enough of them after me? Still one after me. Good god, team, thanks for absolutely nothing! Well, we won. I got a bomb kill, which is always hilarious. And we finished Compressor, which is decent too, I guess. So there's there's that. Progress on the Swift is coming along, I suppose. Okay, we got us some new loadout. It is... Four 1000s in the underbelly. Uh, 12 500s and two AIM-9B sideliners. So, we got a little bit of ability to uh, self-defend or maybe go after a bomber or two. Let's see how that actually works. Might have a chance at him. We've actually got a chance at him. Go, baby, go. Track in. Pulled high enough away. Come on, lock, lock, lock. Fly, fly, sidewinder, fly. Uh, he pulled off away. Okay, fine. Okay, well, there's our boy. We had a pretty good chance at him here, but we're going to put all four bombs right here, and then we're going to run for home. Oh well, it's too bad. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh. Well, Alright then, I guess he uh, didn't respawn. So yeah, with AIM-9Bs, you, know, you want to launch him super close. I was just hoping that he wasn't paying attention and wouldn't see me behind him. I was pretty sure he saw me. But... If I'd have launched, I mean, if I'd have gotten up closer to him to launch the missiles, he would have started maneuvering wildly. So you basically gotta just catch somebody completely asleep with AIM-9Bs, but oh well. Alright, we are now rocking four 1,000 pound bombs, two AIM-9B sidewinders, and eight RP-3s. Because why would you not have RP-3s on the Blackburn Buccaneer, which was designed for a nuclear attack mission? Alright, this should do... Decent amount, not a ton, but a decent amount. That's not gonna work. The victory is near. Well, that's a slight issue. Destroy the target. Him. 
Best chance we got here is just to get our bombs off. Okay, now. Looks like I have just overshot us. There he is. Let's get after him. And we're not going to get a good chance at him. Slight issue with that F5. But if we can roll him behind this F100 while he's distracted. Here's my chance. Yeah. He's watching. Attack the enemy. Ah! Okay. Alright everybody, so uh, that will wrap it up for Air RB. You will notice I've got bullpups on board here, but I'm not going to take these into an Air RB battle just for the sake of seeing that this rocket does not, well it's missile, does not have very high explosive power. And instead you should use bombs, which you can carry much better bomb loadouts on this thing. If you're going to grind an Air RB, use those. Now the only reason I would bring these would be... Technically, you could use them to go after, like, bombers. Would be sort of funny to use them for, but it'd be nothing more than a meme. If you're going to grind with this thing, put a couple Sidewinders on there to go after air targets, and then load up the rest of the thing with bombs or maybe flares. And that's it, really. I mean, it's an excellent grinding aircraft, because you can do so much damage with the total number of bombs that it carries, so it's really a good airplane for working through your, uh, you know rest of your British tech tree here. Unfortunately, it's the end of a line, so it doesn't have efficient research for anything else after it, but it is also efficient at researching ranks 6 and 7, I think. Yeah. Ranks 5, 6, and 7. It's efficient for that. So once you get to this thing, you can, like, I'll be able to use it efficiently for the rest of my Swift line, and then all the rest of the planes left and, you know, tier 6 and 7 after that. So that's nice. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, um... This was the Air RB video. There will be a Ground RB video coming up immediately following this, as in, like, within the next day or two. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And good luck to all of you out there with your Blackburn Buccaneer S2 grinding and uh, spading out. Take care, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.